Welcome back to Steel City Drones. Today, we're going to talk about an update on a product that reviewed about two years ago. Boy, does time fly. And this is the Parrot Anafi USA. This being a true blue list aircraft and application along with NDAA compliance really gives us something to be able to take a look at for those of us who need those requirements. This drone right here is actually what's called the government version. So this is the Parrot Anafia USA Gov version. There's also a third version here called the MIL version, and that's for a military application that has additional encryption and security and open platform to it. We got the Gov version right here, and we wanted to put it to, to the test. So one of the things that I wasn't really crazy about with the old first version, Gen 1 version, I want to call that, is that on the remote controller, it didn't have any display. And you had to actually hook it up to an Android tablet. So when we got the Gov version right here, we were very surprised, pleasantly surprised, at the remote controller that it comes with. This is called the Sky Controller USA. It has an 8-inch screen. It's based upon the Samsung Galaxy Tab A platform. I really have enjoyed using this remote. It is a major, major improvement in here, and I'm so glad that they're able to do this. It has a lot of really good features and functionality to it. So it has USB-A and USB-C ports, as well as Ethernet. It has a stylus on here that we can also use. And it is nice and robust, very rugged, and I really like it. And as I was testing this, I was pleasantly surprised as I'm flying that they've really made some nice improvements to the flight app as well. It's definitely more intuitive than I was used to using, and there's a lot of flexibility and customization that we can really do in that app, but yet it's intuitive enough to be able to go ahead and use effectively. So, you know, as I was using this, I also noticed that Parrot actually gives us additional connectors that will actually give us additional range for this. This will operate for more than four hours runtime, and it takes about two hours to fully charge it. They added remote ID capabilities to this unit, obviously, after it's been designed. So we have to have our cell phone either connected wirelessly or wired from the drone to the controller working. There is an adjustment also for the tilt camera and also for the zoom camera. And I found the zoom camera to be very smooth. It works very well, pretty seamless. It's gonna go ahead and switch between two different cameras and it is up to 32 times zoom. Now that's a combination of optical and digital zoom. So while we were able to go ahead and continue flying, we were also very pleasantly surprised at how well and stable this was flying. A lot of major improvement has been made to this platform, and I can tell that all the hard work that's been put into this. So we did two different hover tests for this, and you're gonna see it was pretty windy, ranging between 18 to 24 miles an hour. So you're gonna see here how much altitude drop that we were able to see in this. And I got to say that I was actually very pleasantly surprised that I saw no more deviation between the Parent Anafia and also the Mavic 3 Pro. Now we also did a top-down view where you can see how much it's moving around on the X and Y axis. Again, I was very pleasantly surprised at how stable and planted this platform is in. I, I gotta say another thing here, I'm, I'm going to give props where props is due because the size of this aircraft is smaller than a Mavic 3 Pro as you see on your screen. And it is bigger than, slightly larger than a Mavic Mini 4 or a 3. So as far as what I know the wind stability of this is, 
I feel that the paired Anafia USA is actually now better than the Mini 4, and you're going to see it's right there, neck and neck, what we're seeing with the actual Mavic 3 platform. So to say that statement shows that it has come a long way. I know some of you are looking for a drone for inspection work. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you a sample of what this looks like at a cell tower. And then we're also going to show you comparable footage to what I consider to be the golden standard right now, which is the Zenmus H20T camera. Now, I, I know these are not exactly apples to apples, but this gives you something to show exactly how that compares to the golden standard. The thermal camera is a 320 by 256 resolution camera sensor. Now that is lower compared to today's standard of 640 by 512 lines of resolution. And we're gonna show you some comparison footage so that you can see the difference of what this camera compares to the other camera sensors on the market. This is IP54 rated. So we can fly this in the rain and the snow. And obviously you're gonna see that we can go ahead and fly it in very decent wind conditions without any problems. So, you know, overall, I gotta give it to Parrot. They've really done a very nice job with making some changes and improvements, enhancements to this platform. We're also gonna link the white papers for all the specs on this aircraft in the description below. The last thing about this is that as far as flight time goes, I know a lot of people ask us about flight time. After all the different flights that we were seeing, we saw approximately 24 minutes of flight time on average. So, you know, just to compare apples to apples with everything out there. With that said, we have the Parrot Anafia USA, all three models on our website for sale. And if you have any questions, please put them down in the comments section below or give us a call. We'll be glad to talk to you about this. A lot of great stuff going on here. And as always, if you haven't yet, please hit the subscribe button, the notification bell. It'll help us grow the channel even that much more. So thanks again for watching. We'll talk to you soon.